Wow, dude. Hey, Ron. Bro, that was insane. I just took out like five people, dude. Hey guys, what's going on? The Real Junior can bring you guys another video. And today, guys, I'm bringing you guys one of my uh, favorite DPS builds I've been using a lot recently. It is a really strong build that I feel like once you get the hang of it and you use correctly, you can really put down so many players, guys. I just want to say, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, montage in the beginning. Uh, that, especially that one part right down about like five or six players in that um, one corridor section, guys. Love this build. This build puts down so many players. And when you combo it with fire bullets and attack advance, you absolutely two to three shot anybody at any time. And it's absolutely insane what you can do with this build, guys. So let's get into it. Uh, so for my stats, I got 7,800 firearms, 284k toughness, and 132k skill power here, guys. Uh, I'm running a Reckless, Specialized, and 4-piece Dead Eye here with a Surplus SVD and a Navy MP5. We'll start with out with the weapons, guys. I'm an MP5. This is my backup where people would get too close to me. Uh, I've got a um, 800 RPM, 66 uh, bullets, unforgiving, deadly, brutal. Uh, this is a 182 weapon. This is why I use in last stand. It goes to, it goes up to about 20k damage total. Um, when I am in last stand, guys, uh, it has a mag of 109 mag size, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, uh, an optic of 18% critical hit damage, 2.5% critical hit chance, 6% headshot damage. Um, a muzzle of 19% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, 5.5% headshot damage, and stability, uh, real speed, critical hit damage on the underbarrel. A uh, really solid weapon, really melts players fast whenever they get up too close, so it's my go-to weapon for that. My SVD, which is the main thing in this build, 68k damage, 260 RPM, 20 bullets, balanced, deadly, unforgiving. I love balance, guys, because it combos so well with um, steady hands. It gives me a really good accuracy so I can snipe people long ranges even when they're moving. Put them down really quickly and just spam my bullets. Deadly, of course, is a must on this build because you're going for quick hit damage. So you want deadly on here as, as uh, much as possible. And for my last talent is unforgiving. I really like this talent because um, since I have lower toughness, uh, and last time I go up to about 300k. But since I have lower toughness, like in DZ and whatnot, uh, I get hit pretty hard. So having lower um, toughness is kind of works really well with this build. Because um, the harder I get hit, the harder I will hit you. And I will win that gunfight 9 times out of 10. So it's really strong to have Unforgiving on a build like this, and that's why I go for. Um, as far as my um, uh, mods, I've got a 109% mag size, 4% critical hit damage, 5% real speed, 19% uh, critical hit damage, 2.5% stability, 5.5% headshot damage, which kind of sucks. Can't use it, but it's what I got. Um, my muzzle, 19% uh, critical hit damage is pretty much all I can have on there, guys. And for my underbarrel, 17% critical hit damage, 4.5% optimal range, and 4.5% real speed. Really trying to have those uh, other two uh, in optimal range of real speed because I will be shooting long ranges. And real speed is always trying to have on anything. So it's uh, definitely a great thing there for my mods. Um, now as far as the gear, guys, we are rocking a Reckless chest piece. I love Reckless with this build. I actually love using Reckless in general recently because I don't feel that much of a difference with the 10% incoming damage due to the fact that um, if you run in lower toughness, you're going to die anyways. So I really like running, running it. And I can melt players really, really quick. Um, so I'm running, uh, 16k health, 5% enemy armor damage, 47% ammo capacity with a firearm roll. I do want, uh, skill haste instead of enemy armor damage if I can get the chance to. Uh, would love to have even more skill haste on this build that I already do. So that's definitely a goal of mine. Um, for my mods, I've got two firearms with skill haste, guys, because I'm trying to make my, um, booster come back quickly so I can give myself a decent heal, but mainly just keep my damage as high as I can, uh, for the long period of time for, uh, long streaks. Uh, my bag is a specialized bag with a firearm roll, 13k health, 51% ammo capacity, guys. Um, very good rolls here. Um, wouldn't change a thing about it, to be honest. Uh, my mod is a, again, firearm skill haste, and I got two performance mods on here as well. So, I have a uh, first aid self heal, 6%, so I can give myself a pretty decent heal there. Um, my gloves is a 982 armor rolled, uh, 1270 firearms. It has 8% enemy armor damage, 16% critical hit damage. And 4625 marks around for damage, guys. Really good um, gloves here. Pretty much goes perfect with the build. Um, couldn't ask anymore. Maybe if I could switch enemy armor damage for uh, SMG damage, maybe I would do that. But other than that, really good roll here, guys. Um, can't complain about it at all. 
Um, my mask, 970 armor, 1267 uh, firearms, 9249 uh, skill power, 14% blind death resistance. I haven't changed this at all. I am thinking about maybe uh, changing this to electronics to give myself a little bit more uh, healing ability and whatnot. But again, I don't really feel the need to change this right now. Uh, works really well, so that's why I'm keeping it the same. Uh, as far as my mod, electronics, the skill haste to give myself a little bit better heal and um, bigger cooldowns. Uh, my dead eye uh, positioning braces are 1266 stamina, 15675 health, burn resistance, disrupt resistance, disorient resistance with a mod of electronic skill haste and uh, first aid ally heal of 6%. Again, haven't changed this, guys, because again, it works perfectly with the build. Um, burn resistance is great, so is disrupt resistance. Disorient resistance, I might change for uh, bleed or shock resistance. Probably shock resistance because the thing that gets me killed a lot. Um, but again, we'll see. Um, I don't really feel the need to change anything. I could change the major attribute to uh, critical hit damage, but that extra um, seven to eight percent or so won't really do a whole lot for me. Uh, it'll still take the same amount of shots to kill, so that's why I'm not putting it on there. There's really um, no need for it in general with the build. So my uh, holster, um, seven percent skill haste, 1252 firearms, 1267 stamina, 1229. I like charge with the 926 armor roll on here, guys. Very good holster here, guys. I love it. And I got a 6% first aid ally heal on here as well. Um, so I've got a 12% self heal, 12% ally heal from both me and my teammates, guys. Trying to get myself a uh, decent enough heal for my team. And as far as the skills, I'm rocking the recompact pulse, guys. And the reason I'm rocking this over a tactical scanner is because the tactical scanner has a 40 second cooldown and only gives me 2% more. Uh, critical hit damage while this has a uh, 27 second cooldown and I am only using 2% critical hit damage plus as a 20 meter more range than both the um, scrambler and the scanner and it has um, a much much uh, lower cooldown on here that's why I'm using this uh, I can pop it a lot more and it just helps me out a lot more and at 2% again not really noticeable I'm not gonna feel it so that's why I'm using the recon pack here guys and my uh, here I'm using a booster shot um, really love this. It gives me a lot of good uh, damage. The reason I'm not using an overheal is because I don't really care about my uh, health on this build. Uh, and more times than not, I'm going to run with a healer. So if I ever need healing, I can always ask them or have someone pop a med kit. So I'm pretty good in that sense. And booster shot, again, uh, makes me a little bit tankier. gives me a little bit more health. So I'm really strong in that sense. So it helps me out a lot there. And as far as my talents, I'm rocking a combat mech to help out my teammates a lot. Uh, death by proxy because um, whenever I kill a um, skill power uh, or skill... Um, I'll gain 20% skill power, making my heal stronger, making my pulse stronger, and overall making me stronger for 30 seconds, which is a really long time. So it's really strong to have. Uh, attack advance, I love this. Um, it only lasts for 5 seconds, but in that 5 seconds, as you can see earlier, I could put down about 4 or 5 guys uh, in that amount of time. So, really strong to have in my opinion. And um, if you're going to use a DP DPS build like this, I would suggest using it. And as my last talent, Steady Hands, I talked about earlier, comboing with Balanced. Uh, Enter any cover to reduce recoil by 25% for 10 seconds. You can uh, con constantly proc this. Like, say as soon as it ends, just get out and then into cover again. You can proc it. Um, so that's why I use my talents, guys. I do know some people like to combo that, too, with uh, smart cover. But I feel like at that point, it's just kind of overkill. And um, you don't really need to. Because um, even without steady hand, I'm very accurate with um, balance. And then when I combo both of them, uh, I feel like smart cover would just be overkill. So I rock a pulse unless someone else is rocking a really good pulse. And now then I'll use smart cover, or I'll use seekers or life support, something else to help make me a little bit tankier, help me out a little bit. So that's why I use for that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this build, guys. I um really hope you guys think this is uh, a nice build and whatnot. And also, guys, I, and that's how you guys will see. I have a huge announcement, guys. Um, I am partnered with UEG. That's Upper Echelon Gamers, guys. Um, I am now uh, with them. Uh, I am a content creator for them, guys. Along with a few other people, I'll let them um, shout out themselves out on Twitter and whatnot too. Um, that would be uh, Frank Yeats, um, King Macho, Sufle and Z. And uh, we're working on getting more people in there, guys. And so I hope you guys um, can uh, see the, the improvement that will happen in my content and see how much more content I can push out, guys. They're a really awesome group over there, really supportive. Um, love them all. So please, guys, go check them out. Link below for Upper Echelon, guys. Great people over there. And um, yeah, guys, that's my announcement. Hope you guys enjoy uh, my build. Uh, Hunter's Faith video coming out today or tomorrow. That's Sunday or Monday, um, depending on wh when you're watching this. So hopefully I can get that out soon too. Uh, another stream. There's uh, a few streams this weekend too. Um, hope you guys can enjoy those. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm the real Janik. I'm out. Peace.